Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! What up guys, it's your boy Sir Trevor, welcome to my YouTube channel, Illustrated Forex. If it's your first time tuning into this channel, make sure you subscribe because we are here to make money. Oh yeah, and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much. And I just want to thank you for commenting because it's really encouraging because now I don't feel like I'm alone. Now I can see that in this journey, I have some people who got my back. You got my back, I got your back. Oh yeah. So today we're doing the leveraging version of the MMC footprint. So I know a lot of you are going to try to make as much money as you can because this strategy is really crazy, guys. I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to talk about it. You'll see for yourself if you do it the right way step by step so before we continue with the leveraging version what i will try to do is to re-explain which footprint do you trade because some of you i'm sure you have attempted to trade the mmc footprint but you get stopped out every time you're just blowing accounts bring accounts and i know why i think it's because what's coming up next today so stay tuned to find out what is it that's making you to blue? And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a signal for this pair USD card. So stay tuned. Don't skip the video. You might skip the important part. Watch till the end, Sir Trevor. So guys, first of all, um, most of you, uh, this... Well, okay. Pixel so that you can see. All right. Most of you, let's say this is the market going up. Okay. And then the market decides to turn. All right. And, and then the market decides to pull back. Decides to pull back and continues going down. Impulse move. And. Oh, wait. And that's your footprint. Alright. And I want to show you. Uh, a lot of you are making a mistake. On doing this. Um, so first of all, you all think a footprint is a trend line, okay? You are wrong. You are right, but you are wrong, okay? <laughs> I'll explain why. So let me show you. So this is the wrong footprint that you guys are following, and I will show you. You should stop doing it, and you won't lose money after this if you are patient and disciplined so most of you you think this is a footprint and you wait for a breakout okay and then some of you you don't check divergence still the market comes back and then it continues down you blow your account all right that's not a footprint now I want to show you what is a footprint. All right. So, a, foot, a footprint, the market will be going up. Number one, do not trade a footprint that does not have a W or an M pattern. All right. So, this number one, example number one will be the one with a M uh, M pattern, right? So this is the M pattern.
okay so the 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 oh let me draw first before i can explain uh You can see a pattern there okay it looks like an m right so first of all your footprint must look like that second of all okay your footprint after creating an m like that it must also pull back and i will explain why it should pull back all right so if you want to trade this strategy you need to be a very patient person and wait for these setups once you are patient and you wait for these setups i'm telling you guys you are gone so the market drops okay now guys if you see something like this in the market just know you have a complete footprint all right so first of all what you're gonna see is your footprint okay okay the footprint from the top and then number two comes a layer line so number one we draw or spot a footprint so i will change my trend lines and mark them red so i will mark my footprint with red okay so the red line is the footprint okay so the layer line is number two number two you have to spot your layer line and we'll choose the color green okay for the layer line so i'm using different colors so that you guys can remember and do not get confused so this is a layer line okay a layer line comes after the footprint so you do not wait for your red line to get broken in order for you guys to look for an opportunity okay so what you do is you wait for your layer line which is the green line to get broken after it gets broken you do not buy you wait for the market to sell one more time and test your poker bar and then you check your uh, indicator okay your indicator must tell you to sell but your chart must say buy okay i will explain So, so the market will make a W, which is a bullish footprint. So we have spotted the bearish footprint, which is at the top. So now we're looking for a bullish one. So we buy at the bullish footprint. So the market will break out and we wait for the market to drop. This, this is what I meant. It will drop like that and then it will come and test your poker bar somewhere here all right it will come here inside the poker bar immediately when it touches your poker bar you check your divergence and then if your divergence according to what i told you uh works accordingly you buy okay and then when it comes to leveraging you wait for the market to pull back okay and then you check also divergence on your indicator on your stochastic indicator okay it will tell you sell but actually it means buy okay i have taught you you buy and then it touches your footprint and then you are out okay so this level here of which i will mark maybe in blue is your buy levels 
okay this here it's your buy level you buy here and then this here it's your second buy okay but if it happens that the market continues for you guys to leverage okay if it happens that the market will reach the top of the footprint of which it mostly does here okay if the market comes here at the end of the footprint okay so which means you are going to leverage you guys okay so the market will pull back like this and then your indicator will give you a divergence so don't worry i'm not just talking about leveraging i haven't started yet i'm just demonstrating with the drawing then i will show you on the live charts how you are supposed to trade it okay and how do you look for a divergence when you are leveraging okay and then the market only you always know you guys that uh, the market doesn't move straight in a straight line it retraces so when it retraces you buy you buy you buy but you look for a divergence so in this trade we might be having four entries okay so we might be having four entries so we have entry one at the block entry two here entry three entry three over there and entry number four it's right there all right and then you wait for the market to come and touch over there and you are out i'm telling you with a move like this on a one hour or four hour chart i don't want to lie to you a hundred rent can be turned into fifty thousand sometimes even hundred thousand okay so it's easy for me to flip a 200 uh, a rent into a thousand in one single entry right so imagine with other entries i can flip 200 to 10k or 50k sometimes even 100 100 if the market is really shooting to the upside or to the downside depending on which footprint i i am trading so i want you to take a screenshot and then go and draw this setup uh, on your notebooks and then now we are going into the live chat okay yeah so those who are here who are just watching this video right now you are welcome uh, just watch this video again from the beginning till here you'll understand what's happening <laughs> so uh i just want to give you uh, five seconds to subscribe thank you guys thank you uh, for joining the winning team we are here to help each other till the end till the end for free don't let these scammers uh, scam you don't allow them to scam you you have free content on youtube and to subscribe is free okay thank you guys let's continue okay so um, i'm gonna go to a four hour time frame and i'm gonna teach you guys uh, how to set an indicator okay so now we are teaching you how to set up the stochastic indicator the stochastic indicator now you're gonna you're gonna click here oh you're gonna click the the icon that shows like an f okay and then you're gonna go down to where it's written stochastic uh oscillator and then yeah you can choose any color but you use the default settings and then boom there it goes so I'm, uh, I'm gonna give you a signal later uh, I want you guys to buy this thing 
yes the cat is gonna be buying but before that uh, let's back test there was some time where there was a nice footprint and it played out so well and i want to teach you how to leverage on it okay so first of all now what do you see here if you are seeing uh, i'm just gonna draw on top of it if you are seeing a footprint you mark it okay so i'm teaching you how to approach the markets uh all right so let's say from here right so this market is a bit higher than the other swing so the market is higher there and it drops right and then it turns over here okay fine then it rose okay went to the upside and then it turned over here fine now the market dropped okay so what i was drawing there it's, it's it exists okay i'm teaching you something that exists i'm not selling you dreams so now the market begins to pull back right now just hear my terminology there it rose and here it's pulling back <laughs> so there it was a footprint and now a uh, it's pull backing which means it's going up for a short time then it drops again for a long period of time until it decides to break out and you begin to buy after it tests but i want you to spot a footprint which is this one over here going to the side uh, so when the market touches your footprint line you exit the market all right so let me just delete some few lines here and reuse them for analyzing okay all right now that you've spotted a footprint you look for what a layer line number two is a layer line now here is a layer line from here to there we found a layer line guys and um, i want you to go to we're going to a daily chart to spot our order block or poker bar and i'm explaining this for the second time for those who missed my other video i'm doing it for you all right so this this red candle here this red candle is the poker bar all right So you can see this candle was a poker bar and I will just draw the block so that you guys can see. So the question is why did I choose that uh, candle as my poker bar yet there's another red candle. Why didn't I choose that other red candle? all right good question the reason why i chose this candle over here it is because that is where the stochastic crossed over on the daily chart and the powerful uh, breakout of the layer line it is when it's on a daily chart so when it's on a daily chart guys uh, this thing does not a uh, it does not uh what do you call this thing it does not repaint all right so if it crosses over the market surely is going to go up so this is for swing traders okay this is the best way to swing your trades which means you are going to hold your trades for more than a day it might be two three days sometimes a week or two all right okay fine now uh we can see it crossed over here you can see the blue line crossed the pink line and then the market started to go up so what do you do 
you wait for the market to come here and why did we buy here because it crossed over here but your crossover you are for buying you look for them for them on the uh for our chart right so which is here all right here's the crossover and i'll show you why so since we've spotted your poker bar you wait for the market to go to the upside come back and test the poker bar and while it's testing you're gonna first draw your footprint okay so footprint i said i'll mark it red uh, sorry for not following those rules let me follow them okay so our footprint is red our layer line is green all right there we go and <clears throat> here's the footprint okay and oh let me just draw it short so that you can see why am i gonna draw on the indicator so you're gonna look for a footprint inside the indicator okay and then where the market turned you check check somewhere here okay turn there okay here all right it turned around here at this level here i hope you guys can see and then it came over here okay all right now now uh, uh, i'm asking you guys what is this trend line doing the one on the stochastic okay what is it doing right now okay it's facing to the downside now when something is facing to the downside it's literally telling you to sell right correct but now the, what is this line on the chart here Sh telling you it's telling you to buy right so these two are not agreeing to each other this is what we call divergence all right we call it divergence guys so when things are not agreeing so when things are not agreeing we call them divergence so this is a bullish divergence okay all right guys so when this happens what you're gonna do is that you are going to buy because everything that i've taught you to look for before you click your buy button you have found it so you are going to buy all right so this is where you buy okay we are marked with the blue line all right fine then the market is gonna go up and come back okay and what you're gonna do is to look for another divergence now you're gonna look from here okay where the market last turned it is here right somewhere here fine then the market is gonna go up when it comes back guys okay it must be below this level okay it must be somewhere here okay indeed the market came down now what you do is you're gonna look for divergence and i'm gonna mark it with red all right because i want you guys to understand and really get this thing and use it to your advantage so from here okay till here oh here okay uh, let me do this okay so from here till here the market was rising okay but on the indicator so now we are leveraging this is called leveraging guys so we find leveraging using divergence so now this is where the market last turned 
okay it shows us it's here okay uh right here it turned right here okay so and then it also turned where right here which is here guys the first turn so the indicator will never lie to you if it crosses it will cross and the market will go up whether it's gonna pull back and scare you guys a little bit does not matter but at the end of the day the market will go to the upside okay so when you see this divergence okay so let me delete this one let me yeah let me remove this one it's disturbing me okay so this one here on the charts it's saying buy it's facing to the upside right but this one here it's facing to the downside this is called hidden divergence all right so it's it, hidden divergence it's like this it's not obvious like this one okay it's like this so we find we leverage using hidden divergence so the market was facing to the downside it's saying sell but on the charts it's saying buy so when you see something like that and you wait I, I want to clarify something guys okay i want to clarify something about this thing uh when the indicator when the indicator crosses over that's when you take your buy over here okay you take your buys so which means on four hour you're gonna wait for this over here this indicator the blue line must cross the pink line immediately when it happens you just buy okay and then uh unfortunately uh this is uh, uh leveraging uh it gave us two entries so you don't just buy just because the market is going up. You will blow because the market pulls back. You can see, guys. So imagine you, you buy here, the market drops. You will blow. Even though you entered some trades here, you will blow. I'm telling you. Okay. So you wait for a pullback and then you spot your divergence and then you buy when it touches don't be greedy when it touches your 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 the line of your footprint you exit guys okay that's the end of the video um and i promised guys to share analysis so stick around few minutes and let me share with you guys as i promised now on this trade guys we're going to look for a footprint and we can see there's a beautiful footprint over here you can see it hasn't been touched yet then we look for a layer line okay so a layer line a layer line First of all, the market must pull back. So let's see if the market did pull back. Yes, it did. Uh, I can't argue. You can't argue with me. The market did pull back here. So uh, now, if you drew your 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 layer line like this, then I don't know what you are trading. But if you drew it like this, hi, fine, awesome, okay. Then I want to see if this is a valid uh, signal. And then after layer line, you look for your poker bar, right, guys? So you're gonna check where the indi where the breakout happened. It happened here, and then which one was your last candle before the breakout? All right, it was this one over here. Or you can look for a crossover on the indicator. All right. So um, I'll choose the bearish candle, which is this one over here. Okay. So for this one, I would like to drop to one hour. I haven't analyzed here yet, so. 
I'm still trying to figure out, guys. So I'm an, I'm a, I'm an, I'm analyzing live with you guys. This is my first time analyzing this uh, this one because for the past few days I've been trading USDT uh, with a different strategy, of course, not the MMC footprint. And if you want to see my USDT strategy, please comment down below. Type type USDT in brackets just type us30 in brackets in the comment section if you're interested then i will share the strategy uh okay <clears throat> so uh, the market crossed here right so for, as for me i'm going to pick the one hour poker bar all right and then uh, i'll i'll draw here <coughs> I'll draw at the clue at the bodies of the candle. Okay. And I'll pick my block. This candle. I mean this candle. Focus, guys. This is the candle I'm talking about. This one here, the red one. Okay. So uh the reason why I went to one hour. Is because of four hours it's not giving us a clear divergence. Okay, you need to understand this. Okay, and sorry guys for analyzing this late with you. I'm sure you, a lot of you could have bought here. Okay, but I know a lot of you you are gonna look for re entries. You're going to leverage on this one. So if you miss first entry, you can catch second entry. So that's what I'm analyzing with you guys. So, <clears throat> I'm going to draw a divergence. And so this, this is a divergence, guys. Let me show you. So, that's a footprint. So... So over here, the market turned, and then the market also turned down here, okay? So you can check, guys. I'm not cheating. I'm talking about this level over here. It's higher than this level over here. So this one is lower. So when we connect them, okay, it's saying sell, right? Okay, so since it's saying sell, what do you do? We buy here because these two lines are disagreeing. These two lines are disagreeing. It's a divergence. Okay, so when the market touches your poker bar, you are going to buy. So I should have given you this signal. I just saw it today, guys, because I don't use this strategy to trade for myself. I use smart money concept to trade, okay, on NASDAQ or USDT. Once again, if you if you are interested in SMC, comment down below. I will make a video on it. So, you and me, guys, we need to communicate on the comment section, okay? So, this is your first buy. And then... Uh, we from here okay to up there wait for the market to come down again and then if the stochastic is going to be lower than this level you buy again okay so what i'm expecting is the market to drop like this at least come to this level over here and then immediately when it start going up check your divergence okay and buy around this area okay not exactly the area i'm drawing but this is just my prediction okay buy around there and then hold until here you're going to get one entry though okay and then you are done okay so this market is still going to drop I believe so because of the strategy says so. 
so when it drops and goes below the other indicator down there which is here uh, just buy over here and take your profits up there yeah that's the end guys thank you for watching like comment share the video subscribe click on the notification bell so that you know next time i drop this is your favorite one and only sir trevor your brother signing out